Did you know that art glass is one of the true American art forms? Let's take a look at the history of how art glass got its beginnings. It started in 1881 with a man from Brooklyn, New York, named Louis Comfort Tiffany. He was born into the family which owned the famous jewelry store Tiffany & Company in New York City. Louis Comfort Tiffany would spend the entire day observing how the sun would shine on the flowers and through the branches of the trees. He wanted to capture the effects of the sun on the botanical world. This interplay of lighting and free-flowing designs of nature brought on the period which is known as Art Nouveau. Tiffany's ambition was to recreate the beauty of the botanical world through the use of colored glass. When he started, he found the glass that was available was inadequate for his needs. As a result, because of his great wealth, he assembled artisans from around the world to develop the types of glass that would help him realize his dream. He innovated a technique of ladling molten glass onto a table that would then be rolled out onto flat sheets with steel rolling pins. These sheets of glass were the building blocks for which all designs could be made. Color experimentation led him to mixing precious metals, such as gold and silver, to create exotic colors like orange, red, and yellow. These unusual treatments of glass textures and the mixture of colors are the trademark for Lewis Comfort Tiffany Originals and are known as art glass, which is the essential ingredient in high quality reproduction glass. Quazelle has captured the beauty and the standards laid down by Lewis Comfort Tiffany in the creation of the Quazelle Collectible. Not only to be appreciated by seeing its beauty, but to be cherished as an heirloom for a lifetime. Hello, my name is Todd Phillips, president of Quazelle. Art glass lighting has proven to be the most dynamic and exciting signature category for Quazelle for many, many years now. Art glass lamps are also known as Tiffany lamps because they were produced by Louis Comfort Tiffany back in the 1800s. However, the only pieces that can be called a true Tiffany are the ones made by Louis Comfort Tiffany, and you'll know that by the labels that are inside each of those shades. These originals sell for starting at $10,000 to $1 million at auction at Sotheby's. Now, today there are many companies that are producing these lighting products, but only Coisel has the reputation for the quality and for the workmanship which makes our product the most closely equal to that of Lewis Comfort Tiffany Designs. And for that reason, we have trademarked our product with our own label, and we call it Quazelle Collectibles. Quazelle begins with the finest glass available. Glass making is an ancient art. In fact, glass beads have been discovered that are believed to be more than 4,000 years old. Glass is made primarily of sand, soda ash, and lime. Different colors can be produced by adding metallic oxides, such as aluminum, copper, gold, or iron. A carefully measured mixture of these materials is shoveled into clay pots within a furnace that exceeds temperatures of 2400 degrees Fahrenheit, where it melts into a white-hot molten mass. The molten glass is then ladled onto a table where different color batches are sometimes mixed together. It is then sent through rollers to make it into a sheet. Textures are sometimes applied with special rollers. The final step of glass making is the cooling process or annealing. The glass sheet is sent through an annealing oven to cool slowly and evenly to prevent the glass from shattering. The best way for you to appreciate the true value of the products that you see before you is to observe an artisan at work creating one of these beautiful heirlooms. We start by selecting a shape and a design that we're going to make. We then take the patterns that make up that design and individually cut out each one, which will ultimately be a template for tracing out that design onto the ultimate stained glass. The artisan very carefully traces the pattern onto the glass surface, preparing to make his cut line on the pattern itself. The next step is to score around the very detailed lines of the pattern in order to ultimately break away the excess glass, leaving the pattern glass itself. 
It's very important that each of the patterns are exactly the same so that they fit directly onto the pattern so that all the pieces will ultimately fit together properly. The next step is to take the cut piece of glass and to grind away all the sharp edges away from that surface, ensuring a perfect right angle cut that contours the pattern. Once the piece is completely ground, it is then placed onto its respective template to make sure that it stays within the lines of that pattern. After all the glass is ground and we've laid it onto the template, we then need to take each of the pieces again, clean them off, and prepare for the next process of copper foiling. This is a process whereby we use a copper foil to surround the glass in this metallic surface that allows us to connect all the pieces together. As you can see, the artisan is rolling the copper around the contour of the glass very carefully, making sure to keep the copper foil centered, allowing him to later roll over the edges and burnish the copper foil down so that we can get the adhesion that we need between each of the pattern pieces. And now he's continuing to burnish down the edges, making sure to get out all the creases.